So here's all of our equipment, and this is how I'd set up to record. Get out the H6. Well, basically just get it, everything. If I had me and one guest, we have two microphones. And so I put on these windscreens just because with the SM58, they sound great, but they can get a little bit of plosives with the popping with the P's and the B's and the T's and the C's. So putting that foam windscreen on just helps minimize some of those plosives. I'm gonna take, I already have batteries in here, but if you didn't, you put the batteries in. You always wanna make sure that they're good batteries, either charged rechargeables or a fairly fresh set. I find that the batteries last quite a while. So you can get quite a few recordings out of a set of batteries. Now where you plug these in doesn't too much matter. There's four different outlets. I usually try to plug it in so that it lines up with the layout of the room. So if it's just me and a guest, I might have the guest plugged in up top so they're farther away from me. And then me plugged in the bottom. So in this case, it's one and two, channels one and two. So I know one is their volume and two is my volume. And you push hold the power button here until the light turns on. Should just take a couple seconds. This volume is gonna be for your headphones. So you plug in a set of headphones or earbuds and adjust the volume if it's too loud or too quiet. But most importantly is the volume of the microphone itself. So you turn the tracks on and off by selecting them. Now, so one time I accidentally pressed two of them at the same time. Okay. It made it a stereo track but I'm not sure. Oh look, yeah, three and four is stereo. I was doing that. I, I don't want that though. But if you ever look down here and you see your tracks are together like that, it took me forever to figure out why that was happening. You just press them both at the same time and it turns it back into individual tracks. So you arm the tracks that you're gonna use we're only using one and two, so we have one and two, and you have those red lights. You don't want anything else lit up. It's not gonna let you slick left and right because there's nothing plugged in there. And then you're gonna watch your levels down here. I find usually with the SM58, somewhere between six and seven tends to be good. If you've got a loud speaker, or if you're in a loud room so they're talking louder, or if you're laughing a lot, making a lot of noise, you want to be more closer to six. If you have somebody that speaks very quietly or doesn't bring the microphone very close to their mouth, you might have to turn them up to seven or so. But you're going to look at your screen and I think it dimmed here. But if I hit record, you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. But I'm on channel two. My guest is on channel one and you look at the levels and you want them to hit between negative 12 and negative six. So I'm probably a little quiet. I could go a little bit louder with my current talking volume. And so I'm just moving this ever so slightly, but again, somewhere between six and seven is probably a good place to be. It's better to be too quiet than too loud because once you get too loud, if you have, if I turn this up, see how that light is flashing? And down here, it's going into the red, and you don't want that. So that red is bad. Every time it hits the red, every time this flashes, it's distorting and peaking, and you can't use that audio. So turn it down until it's sitting between negative 6 and negative 12. Sometimes I'll get a little loud just to see what it's going to be like, and we realize, okay, yeah, I really should probably keep this at 6, because every once in a while, I might laugh a little bit. Okay, perfect. So I'm comfortable with these levels and you're just gonna hit the red button to record. And now you'll see this is counting one, two, three. 
So you know it's recording. It's been recording for five seconds. You know it's recording channel one, channel two. You're plugged into channel one and channel two. These are lighting up, so you're getting good levels. And you can see down here that I still have 16 hours left. So I'm not going to run out of space on my SD card for another 16 hours. That's good. And I've got two out of three battery life meters there. So I should be good for an hour long interview with two green marks there. Now, if you weren't sure how long your how good your batteries were, or if you weren't sure how long you're going to talk, you might want to replace the batteries, but, or you could just watch it. And if the battery is dying, you might have to stop and take a break, switch out batteries, resume where you left off. Um, but whenever you're done, you just press the stop button and it's saved on there. And it's going to be in folder 01. So whenever you open this up on the computer, you'll look in folder one and there'll be a bunch of folders. Every recording is saved under a different folder within folder one. But this is all set to go. And I mean, you, you can worry about what kind of wave file you have and stuff, but probably the default that it comes with will be just fine. <laughs> 